Alright, hi, this is August White here with the Young Turks, and it is minutes before the police are supposed to raid Oshetti Ayate camp. Right here, what you can see is the burning of the front entrance to the camp that has been here for over six months. This is where the security checkpoint was for water protectors and allies to come in and out for the last six months of this movement. It's now on fire. We've got police over this way waiting. Um, just minutes away from entering the camp, we've had teepees burning, ceremonially burning of structures, and uh, the situation is probably going to get, um, I don't know what we, I don't think anyone really knows what, what's going to happen right now, but uh, tensions are high, and uh, we've got a group of water protectors. We've got a group of water protectors down here by the camp that are remaining. They will be getting arrested if they stay there after 2 p.m., which is just minutes away. They're voicing their, uh, their protest and actively standing there, um, willing to get arrested. There's a generator in the fire. We need you back, please. So there's a there's a question about who will be getting arrested here that is media. Um, we've known that the police here in Standing Rock have arrested media, which is unlawful. A journalist doing their jobs, and we're not sure if they're going to be doing it again today. It is now two o'clock, so we will see the police probably entering the camp just in minutes here. I'm hoping my phone doesn't die, the cold is sucking the battery out, but hopefully I can keep a charge enough to show you guys live what is happening. If not, tune in, we'll have a video coming out later most likely. You find me before you leave, and you give this back to me, then... <laughs> this is on. This amazing woman just gave me a charge. and the corporations are still oppressing these people like they've been doing for hundreds of years. Going down to the camp to see if someone will speak out about what exactly is going on, what their thoughts are.
doing what we want to do because we're here in a prayerful manner. You know, we are here and we'll be, continue to be here. And if they want to squash this here, it's just going to pop up somewhere else, you know, because we know in our hearts and in our minds that we are being mistreated, disrespected, and now forcefully being removed from this place that we love, this place that a lot of, many of us come to, for the homes. I thank everyone here for their support. And uh, I need to get out of here now, so thank you for- Thanks, Ray. Yeah. I feel honored to have met you in Seattle for that boot, for the divestment. People standing right here behind me, if we remain here for the next few minutes, will get arrested. So I'm going to probably cross the barrier, get over the line, just because I know they'll be targeting journalists that don't have the proper credentials, according to them. Even though we're doing a job, we're allowing the public to see what's happening, which is necessary. But um, all of these people here behind me will be getting arrested if they remain here. And the cops should be coming in any minute now. It's past 2 o'clock. We've got people in their in their tents still, um, in the remaining that have decided they're going to stay inside and be forcibly removed. We've got people outside with goggles, with shields, with nothing. We've got press. We've got journalists. And uh, looks like there will be a showdown soon, but the cops have not been entering yet. It's past 2 p.m., so we're just waiting now, waiting to see what's going to happen. So the police should be coming in any minute, huh, Raymond? Yes, they should be coming. They're making their way. They're gathering over there. They're starting to get their troops together. There's one thing I want to show you. You can see the troops up there. They're the ones that are fearful, fearful of our rights. They know we're right. Good for, and we still stand for. Still parking on our, just our graves of our ancestors, desecrating our ancestors. You can see over here the troops are starting to gather. It's after two o'clock now, and they're still talking. They've given us the opportunity to walk out of here. And, uh, so hopefully, maybe after this, they'll open this highway up and. Uh, can come through here and witness for themselves but we came here to try to prove to them that that water is life you know we tried to, to inform them and let them know that what they're known as destructive to our mother nature mother earth and nature so we're here because we know what's right we're gonna be here in heart moving somewhere else, but we're going to be, everything that we learned from here, we take with us to the next stop, to the next stand, because we are proud of who we are, and uh, I don't know what they're going to do, but we have a group of individuals down here that do not agree with their Born County's tactics, and that they don't get hurt, pray that they don't falter in their 
relief. Right now, it's a special day. It's a historical day in North Dakota, the United States, in the world. It's a historical day. This day is going to live. Part of this, you know. I'm glad my my grandfather Mahira just led me here through his prayers and his strength because that's who I pray with. I pray with my ancestors, Mahira Vikas and all the Cheyenne spirits that are roaming over there at Bear Butte and protect all of us. So thank you. Thank you, August, for documenting documenting this be careful please are trying to walk out of here so I'll see you on the other side still haven't entered the camp, which is a surprise because we were all expecting this to happen at 2 p.m. today. Um, just still waiting to see what's going to happen. Something just exploded in the fire over there. We just got a lot of media up here waiting on the Highway 1806. This is a it's a safe zone where we won't get arrested and uh, water protectors and other individuals that want to stay in the camp down below. 